The airplane behind me is uh, what started it all. It's called the Sonneray and it's uh, a Formula V racer I built and designed back in 1970. Well, this year's special because it's the 50th anniversary. It's, uh, it's hard to believe that, uh, you know, sometime this guy was a young lad that uh, built an airplane in nine months and uh, brought it up here and uh, uh, made a business out of it. Uh, so it's, it's been here for a while, it now belongs to the EA Museum and one, it was one of the first airplanes to hang in the foyer of the EA Museum uh, when it opened, so we're very proud of it. The airplane's powered by a modified Volkswagen engine that was 1600 cc's and prior to 1971 the fastest airplane using that kind of engine could only do about 128 miles an hour. In 1971 Steve Whitman and myself came up with our Formula V racers doing 170 miles an hour. So it was a quantum jump in performance of the airplanes. And people asked me if uh, they, there were plans to build it and are any parts available. So we, we drew up uh, prints for the, for the design and uh, started selling components out of our garage and uh, eventually developed into a full-fledged business. The airplane was designed to fit the Formula V category, which had very specific design requirements, like 75 square feet of wing, they had maximum size of a 1600 cc engine, and um, it had certain visibility requirements, so you had, you had to sit at a certain angle, 20 degrees, couldn't recline more than that, so it's, it fits the standard Formula category. I've had it here at Oshkosh since about 2002 I've been bringing it here. I wanted something single seat and small. I looked at the Midget Mustang and uh, I, as I looked into it I figured out that I could probably build a Sonar I-1 with the engine for the cost of the O200 for the Midget Mustang and at that time I didn't have many or much in the way of extra funds so the Sonar I seemed like the perfect thing with the VW engine. But it was my first home built and it, it, was a, it was a huge learning experience to, to, to build it. I, I think I built every part two to three times. You know, the second time was probably good enough, but the third part was, you know, the way I wanted it. And it was an important part of building for me was to learn. So the first one was terrible. The second one was, okay, now I understand how to do this right, so let's do it again and learn the process. Because someday I want to build another home built and make it really right. Uh, the initial build was about three years, took about a thousand hours or 1200 hours. But the second time that I built the airplane, if you will, when I did the turbocharger and cut the cowl in half and redid all that, that was about 3000 hours worth of work. That was a huge, huge project. First year it flew, it would cruise at about 135 and go about 155. But over the years as I raced and changed it, it's to the point now where it cruises right around 190 miles per hour and tops out at around 210. So it was a lot of, it was really satisfying to read, you know, how do I make this shape better and then do it and then actually see the results from it. In 2007, I talked to the, the leader of the Air Venture Cup race, Eric White, and told him I had a little VW powered airplane that I wanted to race cross country with those guys in the Air Venture Cup race. And we came up with the Sportsman class in the Air Venture Cup race. And uh, it's cross country racing in, a, in an airplane that is definitely not made for cross country. It does not want to go in a straight line. It does not want to stand in altitude. You cannot let go of the stick. It's not very friendly. So everything, all the workflow has to be done with your left hand and when you're racing there's a lot to keep track of. No autopilot, no trim, three fuel tanks and you have to manage it all. So you know so it's really been optimized for cross country as much as possible but it's not a cross country airplane. Well it's very gratifying to me that you know over the years and, and uh, Sonic still sells Sonare plans. I have the rights to the plans and, and it's amazing how many sets of plans we sell for the airplane every year.